welcome back everybody to the next episode of Pokemon Rocket Edition. Let's start off this episode the right way by going over to Goodest Boy and being like, hey, what's your attack stat? It is, okay, I want to see his attack. Eh, fuck, I'm going to take a picture. What is every stat? See, I could use my thing, my, like, you know, my, my screen capture thing. Oh, there we go. Uh, but I'm lazy, so even though I'm lazy, so I did more work. Um, the bag. It's time to have our first legendary Pokemon. All right, I got my picture here. Got him, cool. Alright, let's see. Also, hopefully your Intimidate doesn't change. Wow! That was a big boy. Alright, let's see. So, his... Wow. His health went from 99... Up to 127. Attack went... His attack changed from 75 to 107. Went up by, holy shit, by 32. Defense from 49 to 77. Special attack from 64 to 86. Special offense from 58 to 84. And speed from 66 to 94. That is a substantial stat change, much like when our uh, Slowpoke evolved. So that is fantastic. The goodest boy is now one of the strongest boys. Um, but yeah, I came here because I wanted to see with having such a substantial thing. Holy moly, 282,000? Dude, I'm humbled. You've got to be one of the most valuable rockets we've, we've got, man. Is Thanks for you bringing me so much uh, notoriety back to Team Rocket. I'll give you our most prized possession. I know it couldn't be in better hands. Well done. You've darn well earned it, man. Shell bell and a life orb. Is the shell bell the friendship one? or No, it's the strike. Okay, so when you strike. So, boost the power of moves at the co- Oh. Okay, that's scary. Um, so you can't hold anything. Let's give it to you. I think you need the shell bell because you seem to take a lot of damage as holler. Um, what do I need to do now? I, by the way, you guys like that I shaved? I freaking do. It's nasty how fucking much I let it grow. I had all kinds of hair here. It's nasty. I hate that crap. If you like it on yourself, that's fine. But on me, I flip and hate it. I think we were going back to Bill. Bill, 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 Bill Nye, the science guy. Bill, 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 Bill. Am I going to have to take on the gym leaders that like aren't aligned with Team Rocket, by the way? I don't know. I don't know. Let's just see what's going on. Good, I hit the record button. Ah, Soul. Did you get a hold of the materials we need? Excellent. We'll hand over the purple apricorn and the poker chip. Oh, shit. I'm not a fish, nor am I a coffee fish. Hey, old slackers. We're ready for production. So what Pokemon are we trying to catch? Not Mewtwo. Well, it's done. Beautiful little thing, don't you think? Uh, sure? Now, enough messing about. Here's what we're going to do. Listen carefully. Pokemon we're looking for. There's only one person in the world who knows where it's currently hiding. And that person's name is Shigeki. Isn't that a person that made the game? That's right, Soul. So wouldn't they be in Cerulean, where you can meet all the developers? 
Yugeki was the last of the scientists who worked with us on the Mewtwo project. Trouble is, of course, nobody's seen the guy for about 10 years. For all we know, he could be dead. He'd be none the wiser. So, how do we go about finding an old missing genetic scientist without a clue of his whereabouts? Any guesses? The internet? Yeah, Mewtwo would know where he is. Bingo, old man. And why is that? Ah, uh, uh, what's the use in hiding anything anymore? When we merged our DNA together, the five of us, to create Mewtwo, it created some kind of psychic bond between us and the clone. Who knows? Who knows how it how it did it? But it became clear pretty quickly that Mewtwo could read our thoughts and emotions with impeccable accuracy. Even when we were away, there was a constant mental link between each of us five scientists and the newborn Pokemon. Ooh. We suspect that that's how it realized so quickly that we had created it for war, and why it subsequently ran away. Well, who knows if the bond between us hasn't worn off after all these years. I'm sure it must have. But either way, Mewtwo can point us towards Shigenki's whereabouts. It must be where he ran off to a decade ago. But, Bill, this is Mewtwo we're talking about. How in the world would we... Ah, hold it right there, my dear Fuji. Soul, the ball I just gave you is nothing more but a powerful standard Pokeball. You cannot capture Mewtwo without its consent. But does Mewtwo know that? Maybe, maybe not. Either way, Soul, go to Swirling Cave and seek out Mewtwo. Battle it and make it tell you where Shigeki is. Threaten to capture it if, you ref if it refuses to tell. It may hate us humans, but it hates being kept in captivity even more. Look, you're the strongest trainer here, Soul. And frankly, Mewtwo would never say a word to any of our faces. Fair. Not to save its, not, not to save its life? Not to save its life, that's alright. Keep the Master Ball with you, but don't use it yet. Save it for the Pokemon we're really after. So it's a bluff card. Well then, to Cerulean Cave! You'll find it in the north uh, northwest corner of Cerulean City. We're all counting on you, soul. So is the guy with the afro going to be gone? Because you know that's what he looked like back in the Game Boy original games, right? Like a dude with a huge afro. It did not look like a guy standing in front of a uh, cave. Not Celadon, what am I doing? What am I doing? Um There we go. Alrighty, let's go. Let's go. Hey look, it's the ace trainer. First Really, I came here for Roar? Stupid. Stupid. Whatever. I guess I can sell it for a little bit of money, but... Still. I'm probably gonna have to beat this Ace Trainer, but let's also beat up this lady. Why not? Ooh, Parasite. Um... You know what time it is? Time for the Guinness Boy! Do now, if I'm right, you have a really good physical defense. So, here's a special attack. We're also nine levels above it, so not worried. Oh, yeah, it's quad week. I forgot your, your bug and grass type. You fucking done, son. Chrissy is going to use seal. Well, back to baller. Baller, baller, baller. Keep those prices baller, ballin'. Anne Boleyn, Anne Boleyn, Anne Boleyn. Who was Anne Boleyn again? Don't remember, I'm not good with history. Let me know in the comments, who the fuck was Anne Boleyn? That's something we don't have. 
But so, why are you going out to Leak Tastic? Because he has a dark move, duh. Man, I don't have a Jinx yet, so this will be a nice new addition to the team. Okay, it'll be an addition, not to the team, but I mean, and it's not nice. It'll just be an addition to the Pokemon boxes, which is fine. And that's how you spread the love. Last Chrissy. Give me your money. Or, not your money. Give me your Jinx. Did we really have to hear its voice again? Yeah, that's a good thing to to have. You know, Jinx is actually a really strong Pokemon. Ice Psychic type just... Well? That guy just teleported. This is Ruling Cave. Nobody enters without permission from the Pokemon Champion. Yeah, what? L look, I don't care what fairy tales you heard about what's inside of here. Rules are rules, buddy. Hey, I said keep out, punk. I'll whoop your ass. See, this is what I like about this game. It's like, oh, you said I can't. How about I just attack you? Cool Trainer Samuel. Who the fuck names their child Samuel? Like, what kind of name is Sam, really? If you're in the when you're really, when you think about it, what kind of name is Sam? It's, ah, poor anyone named Sam. Okay. Well, take this. Oh, you're fast. Right, Leetastic is slow. Got it. Charbuck. Wait. I'm just going for super effective moves at this point because I'm tired of getting my ass kicked. Doo -doo. I think it would be a fun, a fun run to do in Pokemon would be a no super effective run. Meaning you're never allowed to use a move against a Pokemon that's super effective against it. I think that would be really a cool way to play. Really? Hyper Passion. And then, if that's successful, move into not very effective only. Which would be hard, obviously. You know, you won't always have something like that. But... It'd be cool anyways. But I don't remember what Stockpile does. I just know there's that three moves that Arbok learned like at the same time that apparently benefit from it. Well, Stockpile and two moves that benefit from it. Something like that. Like, spit up and eat or whatever. Uh oh Oh, that'd be actually incredibly helpful. But slack off is really great since we have fewer items. We're slow. Um, I'm good. I'm good. It's between slack. It's they're both defensive moves, and I'll take the one that flat out heals. Um, the goodest of boys. I guess I should have gone on, gone out to, uh, leak tastic. If we're being honest. It will be in harnessed. And I am. On the quest for Mewtwo. There was a Mew handing number two. Oh, you have an Arcanine as well. Dig Dug time. Are we going to intimidate each other? Or will this Arcanine not have it? Let's hope it doesn't. Hope it doesn't. Bam. Wishful thinking, and I'm sure he'll be faster than me. Yeah. Don't burn. or And, and don't flinch. Good. I don't know if we can do both. I know it can flinch. But it might be able to do both. I know the move, so I can look it up. I'm lazy. Oh, I was gonna move to Acid Spray, but never mind. Drunks. Oh, good. That would have been annoying. Okay. It's actually really funny. I just evolved my 
my growl is under the Arcanine, and boom, we fight one. I mean, I know we fought one before against Blaine, but Blaine, that's cheating. You'll regret this! No, I won't, Samuel. Still Pokemon? Hell yeah. And sir. I think I might already have one. No, I have a Scyther. Dude, imagine doing a bug run in this game. They station me here for your own safety, you know. If the thing that if if the thing in there chews you up and spits you out, that's on you. Okay. Well. I need to go heal. Because you kinda chewed me up and spit me out. Not like too badly, but you know, enough to be like, yeah. Uh, can we do this in half an episode? No idea. But we'll do our best. We're in here really early. I wonder if the... I'm gonna put Raticate up front, because again, a run away. Didn't expect to hear the Team Rocket music. I don't know the last... Oh, the last time I got Mewtwo... I think was when I did, um... The Fire Red Run with Lady Friend, back when she was still my girlfriend. You know, like, that's how I describe her. My girlfriend! Now she's Oats. My fiancé. Um, see, I have no idea where to... Oh, gross. Gross. Oh, hey! Yes. Um, boom, boom. I mean, did they change the layout? I don't remember it being like this at all. Not that I'm some expert in this place. What, I'm a choke? You ain't no joke. That'd be a great place to grow. Oh. And watch, I'm sure the next thing will not be a choke. Choke my dick. What? Oh, I was running out of breath. <laughs> the encounter rate's not too bad. Got a plan. We had the right person out. I can't remember, does run away allow me to bypass um his arena trap? Also, this is like the perfect place to put something. No? No. Whatever, game! Okay. Whatever. Oh, there he is! There he is! Am I ready to fight Mewtwo? Probably not. Max Revive, though. Damn, the items in here are fantastic. Like, where did the music go? Cool. Wish we could run into that Machoke again. They really want me to catch him, don't they? Oh shit, I'm going the right way, aren't I? I'm going the right way, aren't I? Shikies. Oh good, I got Dig. Dig Doug. Doug Dig. Doug Dibbado! Owner of the Dimsdale Dimbado Dibbado! I'm you too. You doing? Ay, ay, ay. And this is where we end I'm just kidding. I'm just This is where we save. Um. Let's go with Toothy. Got crunch.
So you've come. I was waiting for you. So how do you know my name? Sci oh, right. The scientist who sent you here. Who thought my psychic powers weakened in the years past. They're widely mistaken. And he knows that the mass wall can't catch him. I'm stronger, sharper, deadlier than I ever was. You've nothing to threaten me with. Even if the mass ball you wield could work against me, you'd cut off your arm you'd throw with before you first contraction of your muscles. That would give me a little pleasure. That would give me a little pleasure. Instead, give me an engaging, forceful, fair Pokemon battle. I will tell you what you came here to find out. Oh, how I long for a challenging battle, like an infant craving its mother's milk so- That's just a weird metaphor. These impulses I was given, they make a decade and an eternity, with no worthy enemies to put my dormant powers to bear against. On your guard, trainer, give me your all. By the way, I have nothing wrong, nothing against breastfeeding. If you need to do that in public, go ahead. Uh, how much? What? <laughs> half health is half. He has recover. Book. Don't fuck with Raticate. Don't fuck with Toothy. <laughs> oh, holy shit, what was that? Like, why didn't he attack me? Is that part of the AI for anyone that has played this game? Blue Moon. Um, oh, that was amazing. Go, Toothy! <laughs> yes. Yes, that's it. Touch my nipples. What? Ah, very well, soul. You humored me better than I thought you capable. I'll tell you what you want to know. Pokemon my creator seek is the one they call the catastrophe. Wait, a Pokemon is the catastrophe? And Shigenki indeed knows where it's hiding. And where is Shigenki hiding? In plainer sight than any of this, his of his former colleagues would believe. Yugenki, you see, was an old man in the days when they gave birth to me. When that war of yours finally came to an end, disgusted, fearful from the things he had done and seen, he ran away. Okay. He abandoned all his ties to his past life as a scientist, far away from the public eye. A quiet, secluded life with his granddaughter. But, okay, so it can't be Oak, though. Hoping the demons of his misdeeds would never haunt him again. <laughs> yes. These days, you see, Shigenki is... Oh, that's amazing! 
<gasps> That's amazing! The inconspicuous old citizen of Viridian City. The drunk, no wonder he's hammered all the time. It's like, I didn't mean to make him. I didn't mean to let into that happen. Holy shit. Oh, this game is so good. Notable to his neighbors only for his frequent drunken bouts. And his habit of keenly showing passerby youngsters how to catch their first Pokemon. This is the greatest fan fiction ever. That, see, I'm gonna play a ro another Rob hack in the future and be like, wasn't as good as Rocket Edition. Yes, he knows where it is. That disgusting failed experiment of a Pokemon Bill is after. What are we after? You truly wish to find it, to capture it at last. Speak with Shigenki of Viridian City. He will show you the way. He knows the way. That is all. That's all, Soul. Leave me now to train for my next worthy challenger. I will see you again when you've grown much stronger than you are. But I just beat you. I, I just beat you. Third. Third, I just beat you with my start. I beat him with my starter. I took no damage. Suck it, nerds! Radicate's the best! Also, there's this one... I didn't go up this. See if there's any item I can get. Yeah! I'm choking my dick! I like it a full restore. Um... Bernie. A light of Viridian City. Uh huh. Hey. I don't know if he's getting all pissed off or something. Hey, hey, young man, you need some help catching Pokemon, do you? No, no. What's that sudden? Giratina, take me. Oh, fucking flat him. I knew this day would come sooner or later. That's right, young man. My name is Shigenki. Shigeki? Something like that. Although it's been a decade since anyone called me by that name. Come inside, if you would. You never know who might be listening in. Like my boss, that's right there. Well, well, well. After all these years, confronted not by Lance, but by Team Rocket. So Bill sent you. I should have seen it coming. My dear Rocket, I... I will give you the information you're seeking. But please, keep my whereabouts to yourself. Okay. I have a family to protect. That's fair. I'm not that devious. Do you promise? Of course. Thank you, young man. I will not forget your kindness. But I suppose it's time for me to come clean. You know the story, I suppose, of the Mewtwo project? Well, somewhere amidst all of our failed attempts to clone Mew, a brilliant idea occurred to me one day to rearrange samples of Mew's genes into a computer pr Oh, it's not- is it? I think I know what it is. I convinced the others to create a software Pokemon akin to Porygon. But, let's just say something's missing. And it's got your number. One we could program to do exactly what we wanted. It would be our ultimate war machine. Ah, <sighs> but a project that size with only the five of us were bound to be bugs in the program. I knew as much, but I didn't realize the magnitude of these glitches until the first specimen was ready for before our eyes. Catastrophe, it's an abomination. Powerful, yes, but erratic and uncontrollable. It was as if its presence would distort the fabric of reality. It's missing though, isn't it? Like nothing we'd ever seen, it was clearly too much to handle. To be fair, you find missing though on the right side of Cinnabar Island. As you probably already are aware already, it made us escape in a violent frenzy. Thankfully, I had wireless safety mechanisms in place to stop it. The monster didn't get far before I was able to mobilize it and put it to sleep. I told the others I had everything under control. 
When they asked me where the creature lay dormant, I said I didn't know. And they just like, alright, fine, fine, fine. The truth was, I knew it all too well. I was just too scared to admit to all the powerful people that the catastrophe was hiding right under our noses. Right along the eastern shore of Cinnabar Island. I don't remember how to make the glitch happen in the old games, but I used to do the fuck out of it. Rose underneath the ocean surface. I presume it would only be a matter of time before the creature would find a way to break free from my remote control protection systems. But, it still hasn't. It's a stupid, reckless thing to do to create, to traumatize us all to have been so close to unleashing such an uncontrollable monster upon the world, and nobody would trust me to do anything by myself after that. But, that's all in the past. For the present, young man, if it's really the other scientist's intention to finally lay the matter to rest, and I will deactivate the safety mechanisms that are keeping it dormant and leave you free to capture the monster. It would clear my conscience tremendously to know it's been dealt with. But if you fail, I don't know what havoc the creature would wreck on the region. There will be no turning back. So, are you ready to capture the catastrophe rocket? Oh yeah. Very well. I will de deactivate the software that's keeping it frozen. May our CSB be with us. It's gotta be missing now. It has to be. Go now, Rocket. Fly to Cinnabar Island and surf along the eastern shore. Capture that vile creature and lay this matter to rest once and for all. Oh, and do you have any booze? Come back once I capture it. Ooh. No music. Ladies and gentlemen, this is where we're going to end it, because I have a feeling the moment I fly to Cinnabar, something's going to happen. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I know I have. And in the next episode, we will hopefully be catching what I think to be missing now. Until next time, do take care. Bye-bye for now.